I've been thinking about this for a while, and I've come to realize that INTJs will thrive in 2024. I think, for the most part, it has to do with our ability to seek out truth and knowledge, but I also believe it's due to our very unique skills. In particular, I'm talking about the mama and papa skills. And I guess I should break down what this means because I've been going by this for quite a while. (laughs) But uh, to give kind of a definition of what that is, we'll start with mama, right? So mama is meticulously accurate maniacally absolute and (laughs) just as it sounds yeah meticulously accurate we like the finer details we like to analyze and pick at something and get the true underlying meaning and you know we we love the details because it helps us get a better understanding and perspective of things and this can be very difficult for a lot of other people and as you know going into a new year there are a lot of new changes a lot of new information and a lot of people just don't have the capacity of being able to deal with something like that however we as INTJs will be able to handle it and Maniacally absolute. (laughs) Some people might see this as maybe a flaw, but no, there are a lot of benefits to being maniacally absolute. You know, when we're sure of ourselves, we're sure of ourselves, you know, and confidence is going to be a very big thing, I think, in the coming year. So it's going to be a very important attribute, and uh, we're definitely going to shine because of it. So that's mama, meticulously accurate, maniacally absolute. And then there's papa. So mama really had to do with more about how we are. And papa is mostly kind of what we do, you know, what we do, how we act. So kind of one in the same, but what papa is, is, well, I'll break it down each letter first one is preparation we prepare for things we love organization (laughs) this is our bread and butter you know what i'm saying and with as many crazy things that will be happening next year preparation is key like you need to be prepared for what's to come even if you don't know exactly or precisely what's coming There are steps that you can take to prepare for at least the basics, right? Just having default preparation goes a long way. So that's P. The first A. What do you think it is? Well, I'll tell you what it is. (laughs) It's analysis. We analyze. You need to analyze. Observing information, taking it all in being able to draw things from it you know what i mean analysis we are going to be absorbing information like crazy in 2024 and once again like we are capable of doing that because of well i guess a good bit is owed to our introversion right but The way that we love thinking, the way that we love being able to take data and make sense of it, right? Our, our, our logical side, our reasoning side of it, you know, all of this is going to be helpful. It's not only going to help us thrive in 2024, it's going to help others thrive as well. Mm -hmm. So the next P in Papa this one stands for prediction predict you know a lot of people think that maybe we're too good at knowing what's going to happen in the future and 
it's really not magic. Like we understand from experience and just understand just by how we look at things, right? What's going to happen? We understand that a lot of things are patterns and history <laughs> tends to repeat itself. So it's really not that difficult, but I think for us, it comes a lot easier naturally because of the way that we do pretty much the first three things, right? Well, this is the third thing, but <laughs> the other two things, preparation, analysis, and, you know, prediction, like it kind of goes hand in hand. Like we prepare for things, we take in information because we analyze so it's easier for us to predict what an outcome is going to be, at least most likely going to be, right? Based on many different possibilities, but it's really not that difficult to kind of get an idea of what an outcome is going to be. Just based off of like basic general rules for how the world works, right? How reality works. So that's prediction. And then the last A is assessment. We assess things. So once everything is said and done, right? Once things have happened, reactions have happened, right? And, you know, there's an outcome or there's about to be an outcome, we assess, we evaluate, right? We evaluate from the first three steps. We evaluate from preparation, we evaluate from our analysis, we evaluate from our prediction. And we see what happens in the aftermath once the dust has cleared, right? We'll see if we were right or if we were wrong but spoiler alert most of the time we're going to be right and this is also going to be very important in 2024 along with prediction right we are going to be the problem solvers we are going to be the strongest most efficient most accurate problem solvers of 2024 it is going to be the year for us to thrive and we are not only going to thrive within ourselves, but we're also going to thrive in our outreach to the community, right? In our outreach to other people, in our outreach to society, whether we want to or not, <laughs> whether we mean to or not, we, we are going to, because we have this power within us that you know, voluntary or involuntary, it's going to have an effect on others around us, right? It's going to have an effect on the environment around us, on situations around us. And we should take pride in that. Hopefully we're doing it for, for good reasons, because, you know, <laughs> there are, you know, there are good, benevolent uh, INTJs, and then there's some <laughs> not so not so great ones. But, you know, but hopefully everyone's, you know, in a more positive uh, mindset going forward into the new year. So fellow INTJs, let us thrive and do what we do best. That's it for now. Live peacefully and take care of yourselves. We out.